shit song. What song? It, the beat in the most song. I think it's time. Woo! I hope you're up. I hope you had your coffee. I hope you're in your PJs watching us progress on your screen. I'm telling you, look at this. Woo! Woo! Yes, yes, yes. Hello! 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 What's up, man? I am Save Yourself. I am the Beerless. And the I'm beard. G- and I'm Gio the Mo. <laughs> What's going on, man? Nothing much. It's been a crazy week. Yo, what happened to your face? I had to shave it off just in case you know, I was flying out. That travel ban is crazy. <laughs> I don't know, like you. What does he look like? He looks weird. He I looks, look like a shit. I, I look, How you gonna be the beard like, without the beard? Well, well, sometimes you gotta let your face breathe. You, so you letting your face breathe? Breathe. I got like pimples and stuff. So I had to really, like, really like dig like, in. Like, like you look like a like a muppet, like a, a muppet, like a like a koala. <laughs> I don't know, like a I koala. Like a, I look like a worm. I got a long neck, like. Like if I were to take a koala and shave all the hair off, it would look like a you. Koala. Wait, where are you getting koala from? You look like a hairless koala. I don't know like <laughs> the shape of your your dome. I don't know what it is. You look like you had like a. I'm a walking sperm. Right you look now. like a ba- like a like a bad experiment. A bad experiment. You know, like when they had Deadpool and you go <laughs> and, and they go to that scene where they go in like the experimental laboratory yeah. and they have like the people that didn't make it. That's you, like a mutant gone wrong. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like an X-Men like, oh, man. like reject or some shit you had, you had to see my kids when I shaved it Oh my god! My son was feeling like Daddy, is that you? Is that your daddy? Yeah, he didn't recognize me What happened to my dad? Who's his stranger nature? He, he, he actually said you can't be the beard now Gio's the beard and I'm the mole I'm yeah, like, I don't have a mole He's like you're going to grow one <laughs> Yeah, You should have put a dot in your lip A dot right here A matching dot <laughs> oh my god, I don't know. What does he look like? That, the, comment down below. Comment down below. What does, below. Like? What does I, it look I like? I actually that? put it on my family chat on Facebook and uh it looks weird. They were all like, Whoa, you shaved everything. And I said I had to let my face be. There was like even your head. <laughs> yeah, you had <laughs> my let, head is part of my face. You had people. to let something breathe. I don't yeah. know what it is, but man. Man oh man, but, but we How was your week, man? It was good, man. Yeah. I mean, we had Super Bowl last Sunday after the show. Yeah, Super Bowl was crazy. Uh, all week long, we were, well, I was working, but it's been crazy on the tweets with Trump. It's been crazy on getting ready for Valentine's. Valentine's is around the corner, bro. Everything. We got, we got a lot of stuff we're talking about today. Oh, man. And uh, oh, man. let's start off. Let's start off with positive vibes. Positive vibes. Po- positive vibes. All right, all right. 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 That's all you. Look, I'm going to start with this. Time is money. Who says that? Everyone says time is Everybody money. Everybody says time is money. But time is money is a philosophy that's taken advantage by those who actually had that advantage. So you're or not, by closed-minded people. So you're not, you're not with I'm time not is money. I'm not with at all. Whoever said time is money un- spoke unknowingly to his or her consequences. Um, the correct phrase should be, your passion will become profit. Time is a privilege that's given to us naturally. Just yeah. like right out the womb. that We've, given, we've been given time. Yeah. And it's a privilege that many people are... Uh, misuse yeah. and is taken control over by uh, corporate America. To them, time is money. To them, your time is equal X amount per hours. Yeah. As a, that equals to whatever per week. You times that. You add that by four and times that by twelve. That's supposed to be your net worth. Are you a mathematician? Mathematician. I write. I study this shit. That's your annual pay. Your net worth. Your Ooh, that's math. Your number to that person. Um, and um, so that's time is money. So oh, and that is- raise that you think that you deserve because you. Such an asset to your company, uh, which ranges from a dollar to uh, uh, from a quarter to a dollar, is really in the big picture worth yeah. your company 0.001 percent. So that's what your raises to that company, the whole company as a whole. Your raise is 0.001 percent. So the phrase "time is money" is an alternative fact. Kellyanne Conway should go around saying. That time is money because it's an alternative fact and we should stop believing this. We should wake up and stop believing this because it, it's it's alternative fact. Yeah, yeah. We should change the world and start teaching that our passion can become profit and it will become profit. What you do, uh, uh, what you accomplish and once you do it with passion, it's going to start shining. You yeah. have to, of course, share with the people uh, what you want. And uh, But yeah, they don't. Th- it's funny is that they don't teach you that in school. You know, in school, they don't they teach don't. you about your passion and, and how to touch into your passion and touch into your creativity and 
and what is it that you really want to do exactly instead of making time as money and making money and time like they, that's what they teach you in school because that, that's I think that for that that's safe yeah, you know yeah I mean? it's so. safe it, it's it's the the fall in line kind of theory time is money so we're gonna go you're gonna go to school yeah, you're yeah. gonna learn something and yeah. after you learn you're gonna get a job and you're gonna go through the same routine a day in and day out day yeah, in yeah. and day out work sleep eat work sleep eat so you know, that's the routine and eventually if you start doing what you're passionate about like we are we're here every Sunday after a hard year of work eventually your passion will pay off because your passion can become profit so what we want what I want to do, I want to do it like a call of action. I want everyone that has a passion and has the want to yes. do something, go ahead and post a video. Post a go video. ahead and post a pic of what you're passionate about. And every week we're going to go ahead. I want to go ahead and, and uh, uh, if it's on the live or if it's just on our, yeah. on our Facebook, we're going to go ahead and um, post it up, give you a shout out. And I was thinking about doing a live call with that person. A live call. So if... if Besides just posting it, message us with all your information, yeah, yeah. or I'll go ahead and contact you with all your information. We're going to give you a minute okay. on the live. So tell us why you're passionate about it, bro. Because remember, passion can become profit. It will become profit. So that's, that's right. a passion. That's a positive vibe of the day. Positive vibe. Do what you love. Do what you love. Just think yeah, about and that. that. And that takes a lot more time. It takes a lot more time. It's, it's not the easy patience. way out, people. The easy way out is keeping that what you're loving. That's what's... That hurts because you love it so much and you don't do it. By the time you want to do it, it's probably too late, and you, you yeah. never went through that path to go do it. That it, at the end, but of I, think, like, I think oh. people are becoming more aware, though. I think there's more of awareness now. Look at YouTube compared to like yeah, I mean, 20 years ago. Now people are more aware. There's more of a motivation uh, a trend going now. Mm -hmm. If you look on YouTube or Facebook, like there's a lot of people that are motivated and they're going for their passion because I think they're realizing that these these jobs are you know either dead end jobs or they're not happy you know yeah. so like yeah time is money and, and and yeah you might make a lot some people make a lot of money and they're still not happy right so yeah. at the end of the day uh i've i've noticed it's a trend you know people are starting to leave their jobs or start to hustle on the side yeah and they start you know uh, uh following their passion and eventually you know you make a transition that's that's the goal that's Here, the dream. here's here's my funny observation i yeah. live if you don't know already we live out in orlando how to all my orlando people yeah Everything that's being built yeah. is either a gas station, a Wawa, a racetrack. Yeah. It's gas stations it's and gas retail station, stores. Station, yeah, yeah. Do you want to do retail all your life? Now, people who do retail, I bless no, your nothing, heart. I did it. There's nothing wrong with no, it. No, we're just talking. It's I think busting we're just, your butt, though, right, but when we're, you we're know you have a, a, in a our, passion. Our yeah. experience, in our experience. Because our, our, it's not everyone's dream to follow their passion, no. right? Like. I mean, you do what but you want. if you don't follow your passion, I mean that that's that's the alternative route uh, in Orlando. I'm not talking about everyone else in Orlando right now. It's just a lot of retail stores being open. And like I said, I that's did retail everywhere. for two years, and God bless everyone's heart that does Retail's it because tough, it is very tough. I used to work seventy hours, make a salary of only forty, and that's not really your net worth. It's not really. Uh, uh, it's it's so crushing, bro. Yeah. I, to me, it was so crushing. To me, I don't know your experience. You probably love yeah. retail. Everyone, there's people that love retail. People I mean, everyone it. everyone has their yeah. Because sometimes passion. it could be their passion. That yeah. could be their passion. Maybe they're helping people. You know, or whatever, that, but just people just talk about the experience. manage stuff. Yeah. But it's so crushing. Yeah. <laughs> Every job that's out there that's not what you love is so crushing. Yeah, pursue and pursue, pursue your passion. what you love. Don't, passion think, can become profit. Guys. What happens? I think we all like as kids. We all have passions, and and, and you know you. You have passions as a kid growing up and you have these dreams and aspirations and as you get older i think sometimes that passion goes away or like you stop listening to that voice yeah because everything else starts kicking in like you have to be safe or have something that's more safe or more it's more uh, guaranteed to have a career more money whatever like you know these things these things change so then what happens is you stop listening to that yeah. passion yep. and you push that voice down but at the end of the day i think everyone does have a passion does have a calling does have a purpose uh, it's just a matter of if you're in tune with that or not. I'm actually lucky that I met you when I did because mm -hmm. I've always had that voice. I never listened to it. Yeah. And then you or came along yeah. and you said, hey, you should do comedy. I said, hey, I'm funny. <laughs> I went, I did comedy and... Um, you should grow hair. You, know, <laughs> you should grow back hair because you look weird. You look, you're freaking me out. It look, it look hey, like... ball tap. I don't know. Ball, ball tap. <laughs> yeah. So you came along. I, I, I yeah. thank you for let, letting that voice... Shine out because yeah, that's we, 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 I wouldn't be here. That's, that's what we're about. We're about you know encouraging people and motivating people. We want to encourage people that are watching this. Pursue your passion and 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 like we mentioned before, tune down below in the comments. 
Let us know what are your passions or what is it you think about, you know, you're thinking about doing or trying to do. Just just put it out there because sometimes when you put it out there, like, it becomes reality. It, it becomes reality yeah. and you, you speak you speak truth, right? Yeah. And sometimes you give life to those words and, and we're here to we're here to support you. We're here to support those people that are trying to follow their passion and be creative. So, uh, more power to y'all. More power to y'all. Um, so yeah, we're gonna move. No move traffic to... ban, no war. So let's jump into the next. Yeah, so one. so so I mean, I can I can I can actually go to Mexico now and come back and be all right. Or well, I can go to another country and be all right because I don't have the beard. Yeah, <laughs> you didn't want to end up on the no fly list. <laughs> the no right? fly list, yeah. Or the or the FBI wanted. It's funny that we jump into a little bit of politics because uh, um, <coughs> that our next subject is gonna be Trump, Trump's tweet. Trump. Trump. Uh, but before we hit that, yeah, I'm Dominican. Yeah. And I ran into a, a post that my uncle, which is a a, a, a Trump supporter, yeah. uh, he put it up. I don't know what was his intention. He said he probably like mis misshared or whatever. What did you say? But Jeff Sessions, uh, I don't know if it was recent or back when he was um, a, a senator. Yeah. Um, he goes that Dominicans have no provable skills that can contribute to. Wait, he, he said about Dominicans. Or he said the, about he, Hispanics. Specifically, specifically Dominicans. He's, oh man. So he said Dominicans. Damn. Uh, uh, so and oh, oh, oh. a lot of Dominican senators, the, the new Dominican senator, that first Dominican senator, yeah. he was illegal. And thank God that he's a senator now. Yeah. Uh, I forget his name. I will post that up later. Um, yeah. Who else? A, a, a bunch of uh, um, authors. Junior Duran, this D U N O T. Uh -huh. uh, they all went on social media. They posted. But we have. Dominican baseball players. We have Dominican lawyers. We have Dominican. Uh, everything. Uh, we have everything. We have a Dominican senator. Everywhere. everywhere. We have Domin people in Congress that are Dominican. Like, so he's like so single there. He's single, single out Dominicans that we don't have no provable skills. Well, Jeff Sessions, I hope you get impeached. <laughs> That's know, crazy. Like, why, why, I don't why know you can just say stuff like that, man. And, and People like just have this blanket sweep of like a like a. Like here's here's a crazy thing. Out, like, here's a crazy thing about I found you? out about uh, Jeff Sessions that when uh, before when his first round uh, 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 time around being senator, yeah. he actually got shunned by the Republican Party because he was a racist. Uh -huh. They didn't want to associate with him, and now this administration comes on and is like. Let's say everything we want about Dominicans, Muslims, and uh, Mexicans. It's, so, it's uh, reckless right now. Everyone's real reckless. Real even, reckless. Even Donald Trump's tweets are reckless. Go ahead and, and hit him yeah, in the head with that if one. Were, if y'all ain't on Twitter or know what's going on, what's, what's uh, uh, trending or whatever. <laughs> but this guy tweeted this. He, I don't even know what he said, but he, it says something. He said, uh, whatever. The, the, the point is, at the end of the sentence, he ended with this thing. He says, it should be easy D. Now what the hell? I, now, Grant, I think he's supposed to. He meant uh, easy decision. Meant to be like a, it should be an easy decision on whatever the, 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 yeah. the I guess it's the ban or whatever. <laughs> but he tweeted out Easy D, man. So everyone ripped him out. Oh, he's an Easy D. So man, I guess Trump like that Easy are D. You, are you Easy D? Oh, no, I ain't about no Easy D. <laughs> <laughs> Trump about that Easy D. But it's funny because everyone started ripping him on Twitter, and, and uh, 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 Grinder reached out to him. Uh, there's a couple of, like porno websites that reached out Porn to him. Hub. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, man, they were ripping them up. Just and in case like, you don't know, Grinders a, a gay. Uh, uh, it's like a Tinder. Or something like, like a that. Tinder for yeah, yeah. For, uh, for, for for gay gay, gay men or just gay people. Gay people. Whatever. I never. I, don't, I mean, I don't know, but it, it, it's funny because they're all like <laughs> making fun of his statement. He's at Easy D. I, but you know what's crazy though is that he's, I checked his Twitter because I was looking for the tweet. This guy tweets a lot, man. Like he every six hours or something. He's considered the Twitter president. Like he, someone needs to take his phone away. Like you know, like you know, like you have that friend. Like you say something, you do yeah. something. I'm like, no, that's dumb. Okay. No, no, that's a, he doesn't have like he doesn't have like someone smack upside the head. It's like the drunk friend trying to call the ex girlfriend. Yeah, he's like, don't do it. No, no. Like, yeah, like, like <laughs> but there's nobody to like pull him out. Like he needs no. to be like on a tweet timeout or something. Exactly. Because his his tweeting like 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 traffic is insane. He. What do you have all this time to tweet? Like how did and he just he says, says this stuff, he just like blurts it out and he just puts it out there and it's like like if you look at his time I'm talking about like a several times a day this guy's tweeting. <laughs> What is that's is a Twitter president what God doing? I, and I, think that's, I think that's how he won. I always said everyone's questioning like what happened? How did he win? 
It's like, yo, he controls social media, and I he think the social media that he controls got him got him the vote. Someone need to take his phone away from him, like you know, like a kid, like I'm gonna take this away from you if you do that again or something. <laughs> and, and, and have him tweet like maybe every four months or something like that. Okay, every four months you get one tweet, one tweet, and it's over 160 characters because you should get like 10 characters. You get 10 it. characters. You got like one word. I went. That's it. I went to do poo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I was, pooed myself. I'm sorry. Yeah, you know, like my so, my hair receded. He should get punished. He doesn't get punished. He, he, there's he no repercussions it, 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 exactly. for anything he says. There's no the like, there's no like, like, like repercussion of like smack upside the head. So he just tweets this stuff out, and it's just, I don't know, man. I don't know how this guy sleeps at night or looks in the mirror. Like, I don't know how he does any of this stuff. This, I anyway, mean, his wig is on too tight. So I don't know what's wrong with him. It's, it's one of those things. It's entertaining and, though. It's entertaining it's because entertaining. it gives us, it gives us uh, something to talk yes, about. A and, and Saturday Night Live, we've been having for four years. Saturday Night Live, like the entire oh Saturday Night Live, God. is almost based on Trump. They have Alec Baldwin now doing Trump, and now they have uh, Melissa and McCartney Mr. doing McCartney, Sean yeah. Spencer. Oh my God! It is it's hilarious. If you have not gone, go on YouTube and go look at the SNL. Trump like that easy D. Crazy. He like that easy D though. I feel like they they call him on a. And, uh, um, huh? What was it? He was on yesterday with the uh, Jap- Japan J- Japanese Prime Minister, I don't know, I and the up. Japanese Prime Minister. Uh, he was about to close out the whole thing, yeah. and the Japanese Prime Minister asked, let, let the one more question go by. Yeah, yeah. And it was about China and the yen and China. everything. China, China, easy, China. It's easy, easy, D. easy, D, China, <laughs> easy, D. <laughs> I'll take so it he, anyway. So what do you say? He, they asked him a question, and he answered it so unintelligently. Yeah, You're like he was dancing around the thing. He was like, "This is great. Uh, I've had conversations he, with China. It's great. It's huge. I think questions. we're gonna. Yeah. I think we're gonna hug it out." And and he just dances around the damn subjects. He don't answer nothing. I never seen him All answer right. nothing. This guy, man. it's like how's Russia? I, I have nothing with Russia. Russia, they're great people. They're I never had business with them, but this I know guy. they're great. They're fine. They're, they're huge. Something wrong with that dude. And it's man. <laughs> man, I, don't let me get me started because I, I keep going. This guy, I just, he, he's going for days. I just don't know what else he's gonna tweet because he keep tweeting some, some man, shit. Man, we're gonna have a tweet, a tweet a week. Something the like best tweet from ban Trump. him or like take his account away or something like this. Anyway, all right, so we're gonna go on to the next. Oh, subject. it's great, greatly, great, fair, fairly, <laughs> <laughs> fairly easy. It's, fa- it's fairly, greatly, greatly, fair, easy D. <laughs> And uh, so the next subject, the next subject we're gonna do. Uh, did you catch the Super Bowl? Super Bowl last week. Super Bowl crazy. Man. What? Super Bowl the crazy. Super Bowl. That's, Super Bowl that's, that's, it is Super something Bowl a week ago. that is completely unexplainable. How the hell did Tom Brady come out of nowhere and just annihilated the Atlanta Falcons? How the hell did that happen? I don't bro? know, but 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 I le- I was in Claremont. Insane. It, I was in Claremont, and I drove home. And when I drove home and I put it on, I was like, "What happened?" Falcons, you had it. You had it in the bag. All you had to do was keep the follow the same plan. You know what? Yeah. I, I think Bill, Bill Belichick and Tom Brady cheated. Um, they they had a, a special cheat code. Yeah. They entered it and then uh, um, they won. It was like yo but, left yo, left right left. I mean, I'm X, a Giants X, oh. fan. I'm a Giants fan. But like when I watched that, like I was like, man, I gotta give it up to this dude. This dude like straight killed it. Like <laughs> Tom is, Tom Brady is the greatest. Like I don't know how the hell he did this. You know what I think happened? Like, 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 what happened was like halftime. Giselle sent him a picture. She was like, "Yo, the the candy shop's closed." <laughs> remember, remember we yeah. talked about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you lose, do you get something from your wife? So she was like, "Yo, candy, candy shop's closed, closed. Done. until next football season." He's like, "What? What? 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 I'm gonna throw this ball. Give, give I'm the ball. Throw ball. He was like, "Hold my beer, hold my beer." It's not deflated. Okay, let's just destroy yeah. it. Yo, he was he just went off, man. He was like, "Yo, wow, yo it was, Giselle gonna lock the doors on me. He's just gonna switch there, the lock." There's actually pictures of of. Yeah, yeah. Patriot haters yeah. on the last touchdown that showed um, I forget who caught the ball, who ran the ball, that his knee fell before he crossed the line. Yeah. Um, so there's all these conspiracy theories. I think it's no, 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 no. I, 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 but I saw the replay. The replay was. Yeah, the re- I saw the, the ball too. was past the white yeah. line. So but they were saying, talking about the knee. Whatever. They, they were, like, like they were gonna fucking win anyway. Like, he won. That's they it. were gonna win regardless, even if the knee was down. Well, they would have done fourth down or whatever. They would have done the fourth down. They would have done the, the field goal, again. and then they, then the the Falcons would have had a chance. But I think. The Falcons? No, they would have went on and on. I'm telling you, they probably would have went for it on fourth down. They probably you think so? Away. Yeah, man. Man, the, the, the game was on the line. Well, yeah, they put a. Would it probably would have done that and they got a safety somehow. It's it, the Super Bowl was crazy, and my brother uh, Michael loved it because he wanted to see Roger Goodell give 
Yeah, that was crazy. This is a, awkward. Awkward! Matt Ox. <laughs> Ox. I'm like, yeah, you know, you know how I said that thing about you? Yeah, I was just dumb as a joke. Well, I was just joking, Dumb as a joke. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Roger can tell. If your balls are inflated, like, you can't yeah. have any kids anymore. But then, do you think Tom Brady going to win another one? Like, nah, I can see him. He is not quitting. I think he's in his prime. He's going to play for like go 15 years. The only thing that's his Achilles ankles is the Giants. If he goes and is a Giants and the Patriots again, yeah, and he wins, I think he should retire after that. But Peyton, uh, Eli Manning got his freaking number. Yeah, Eli Manning got his number. Giants fans, but what just up? One thing, just one thing. Like, oh, come on. This is the last one. There's no way he's going to win. Yo, he just keeps winning. He just keeps winning. He, he, you know what? And it's yeah. it's not only Tom Brady. We have to give props to Bill Belichick, too, because he he he, he drew out the master plan. Yo, and, and freaking yo, and Brady followed yo, it. Bill Brady Belichick. Like, Bill, I don't know if you saw Bill Belichick ended up going to like the, the, the what do you call it, the parade or whatever. Yeah. And he, he ended up saying, no days off. No, he was chanting, no days off. And like it was funny because like nobody was chanting with him. Because he, he's like that dude, like he doesn't stop working. Because <laughs> like even in the news conference, they were like, "Oh, uh, congratulations, to the Super Bowl!" He's like, oh, "We're two weeks behind every other team, and the other team already has a two week jump on the, on the next season." He's like, dude, but relax. Take a take a like take a deep it's breath. Like work ethic, though. I mean, I, I think that's like, what no makes it so off. great. Like, Nobody is like, work ethic is like like nah, bro. We're taking super. Day it's like there, there are other coaches that are basic. Co- they're yeah. basic coaches. But yo, and what's a basic coach? You no, know, Belichick is like that super steroid coach. Yeah, something wrong, man. But but <laughs> but uh, uh, him and him and uh, Trump, they be sipping from the same shit. Whatever they smoke, <laughs> from, the same shit. They're the same shit. Yeah, because Trump um, don't sleep. But yo, the halftime show though, did you see Lady Gaga? Oh, uh, it was it was a good halftime show. Yo, I she, was expecting I, Mingos I, to come out. Of I think she, I think she, Mingos. I think she killed it though. This she is, killed it. This is uh, uh not that's, a Trump, that's Trump. This is Lady Gaga right here. Bam. Yeah, Lady Gaga, is. like Lady Gaga, man, she killed it, man. She just she went up <laughs> on there and, and like, yeah, that's not Lady Gaga, that's Trump. But we, <laughs> but Lady Gaga, man, yo, she she Lady Gaga she killed it. She she got heat for some reason because what are you talking Pink, about? Pink did the same thing, had like the same outfit, not the same outfit, but something. Similar. Yo, whatever, man. I ain't about that negative energy, man. Yo, Lady Gaga killed it, and she I forgot, I forgot it. how many how many like um hits she got. She got yeah, hits, bro. Hits, yeah. She got hits, man. I'm not a, a big uh, uh, Lady Gaga follower, but every she, song that she sang, she could have ended. She I like, sang she to was it. singing, singing. Like she yeah. sang like real, and she's and, not like Britney Spears and, or uh, uh, Mariah <laughs> Carey with the with the lip sync. <laughs> uh, and she and she um played the piano. Mm-hmm. She did everything. And she danced. She jumped from the freaking top, from the from the top, from like Sting and shit, from wrestling. She did all that, man. <laughs> Just thing like wrestling. She did. She did. She she was freaking. Uh, good. Jose will appreciate. He says that uh, uh, I'm the mole and you're the beer today. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, he looks weird, right? I don't know, you look. Don't like, comment. Jose. What does he look like? He look like, you, like you like you you stuck a fork in an electrical socket or something, and you and you like all your hair came off. Man, I can do. I'm face surprised. Face. Surprised your eyebrows are still on. Did you my, did you draw your eyebrows my, off? You know what's funny? My daughter says you should shave your eyebrows now, just yeah, complete the yeah, whole thing. Yeah, so you can match. So you can match. No. Cause you got no hair there, yeah, but yeah, everything yeah. else you got like you got like three pounds of uh, eyebrow hair. I'm lighter now. I jumped. I jumped like two inches. But high. yeah, yo, yo, that Super Bowl, that that halftime show, I loved it. I, 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 I enjoyed it. It's crazy. You want to jump into some movies real quick? Yeah, yo. So now, uh, uh, this weekend, okay, came out um, Fifty Shades of Grey. Not, or, or not what the Fifty Shades of darker, darker, grayer. Fifty Shades of darker. Fifty Shades of of, darker, of, uh, of, uh, of uh, navy blue, whatever he called himself. And then uh, this John Jeez. Wick two. John Wick yeah. two. John Wick 2. I want to watch John Wick 2. I haven't watched any of You didn't watch, did you watch one? I watched John Wick okay. 1. Yeah, I saw the first John Wick. I mean, I watched two. Have you seen Fifty Shades of Grey, the first one? Yeah. You did? Yeah. I went with Lisa. Why? You said I wanted to go. Yeah. Were you punished? <laughs> no. I, I, I said, let's go, baby. Let's go watch the, the Fifty Shades of Grey. I fell asleep. Was there a, uh, uh, what do you call it, like a trade-off? Like, like she, did she watch something for you? Was a, that was a trade-off. <laughs> I have no, no. no it, it was to all right. I went. I saw the movie. It was it was interesting to see all the reactions of the people in the theater. But you didn't see part two, right? I haven't seen it yet. We're gonna go see. You're it. gonna go see part two. We're gonna go see it. Yo, then you got, take you got you got you got trade off though. We did. You got to do John Wick two. Trade off. I always pick the movie. All right, but you gotta do John Wick two. We do. Yeah, we're gonna you know do what I mean. Yeah. So we also watched uh, another one that came out as Lego Batman. 
All right, but that's a mutual thing. That's not. That's that was not, Isaac thing. Right. That's not either or. But Fifty Shades is great, man. Like, like I don't want to watch it. Okay, my girl watched it. I don't want to watch it. I'm not gonna watch it. And then she's like, "Oh, I'll watch John Wick too uh, if we watch Fifty Shades Grey or whatever." And I'm like, first of all, I didn't see the first one." <laughs> so she's like, I was like, because I don't want to watch the second one, I'm gonna be all lost, right? So she's yeah. like, oh, you can watch the first one. I was like, so I gotta go watch two movies? You're gonna watch one? That's, yeah. like, what kind of trade off is that? You gotta, <laughs> you gotta watch two. So you gotta, I gotta watch two. She gotta watch John Wick with you, and she gotta go watch I gotta watch split. four hours of some dude choking a woman out, and she's liking it. Like, I'm not I'm not down for that, bro. Man. So you know the what? Reactions, she can watch it on her own. I watch John Wick on my own. Look, the reactions of the women in the theater were. Wait, wait, but how many dudes were in the theater? There were, there were enough dudes because the dudes were forced to go. But we were, <laughs> there were enough people there. I'm telling you, uh, like, if you went, I think you went because you were punished. Or you said no, some stupid I, I, I went because, you know, she out. says, you know, I always pick the movie. So I was, okay, you know, I think that yeah, was the okay. same time when we saw John Wick. So since so, we already saw John like Wick, they, so it was like, okay. Like time you know, it. Yeah. So when, so when, so when. Um, There's a man moving a wolf. So when part three, a hundred, a hundred shades of fucking whatever paint comes out, then, <laughs> then, then they're going to have John Wick three. They're going to kill his hamster or something. And then they're, they're well, going to come after them. Yeah. But, but here's the thing about, about, about Fifty Shades of Grey. Like, I didn't, I didn't want to watch it because to me, it's not, that's not reality. Right? Well, I don't know. In a way, I mean, there is actually. There's because a whole new world. Of, you, you're tapping into a whole other society there. Well, I ain't Because there's a whole bunch of people that's in I know, SMM. but I'm just saying, like, like it's... Man, I'm just not... I'm not down. I'm not, I'm not even, like... You, you gotta watch it, because if you look at the reaction of the, of the women that were there... Yeah. I, I sat down and I shot it. Hey, yeah, they get I was all, like, they someone's all, getting some ass tonight. Yeah, they get all high someone, and heavy. There's women there that were turned on, and their guys are just like... Yeah, you get, saw the guys leave with a smile. They get hot and heavy, you know? You saw guys, and, guys leave with a smile. Yeah, but but you know what though? Like, um, I understand like you do the exchange of like chick. Like, I watch a chick flick. You know what I mean? But to me, that's not a chick flick. That's like a freaking. That's <laughs> like a. It's supposed to be rated R or something. They say it's supposed to be should rated R. It should be rated X X X X X. That's it. Just let it all let it all out. I watch all that, man. I'm not watching that. But I watch John Wick two. I watch John Wick two by myself. She could go watch. They should do a mix. The John. She could go watch John Wick Fifty Shades of Grey. How about John Wick kicks? Fifty Shades of Grey's guy's ass, Christian Gray, Christian Gray's ass, <laughs> Christian, Christian, Christian Gray, Christian Gray. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see that, like Christian Gray up in there, he's trying to be all smooth, what he does, and then bam, John Wick up in there, kick his ass. Interesting. Uh, uh, does your does your girl expect to be gagged? Does your wife? What? <laughs> I don't know, but I don't know why you why you watch this stuff because because they watch that they watch whatever right and they watch whatever even like even like those movies where like Chan Tatum's having sex in the kitchen like like they are gonna watch that and then they're gonna like look at you like okay yeah like see like, everyone's stopping on you Lisa said I enjoyed it even though I fell asleep yeah. Daniel Go- uh, Gonzalez said sack up Gio and make your woman happy that's what you have but to do but that's an old man man Lisa said to watch it Robert I probably did enjoy it a lot oh afterwards. women <laughs> oh women I enjoyed like Rob I enjoyed it afterwards. Uh, uh, and uh, Valerie yeah. says that she don't she don't expect to be gagged. Whatever, so, but but what do you expect? Just a little bit. <laughs> I don't watch that. Man, I want John Wick two. John Wick two. John Wick two. If y'all, y'all have, has anybody seen it? Let me know if it's good. I'm gonna watch it anyway. I don't care. Funny thing. Uh, oh wait. Oh. Still on movies. You have to watch Lego Batman, bro. It was something. I watch Lego Batman. I'll check it, it out. It was something good. If y'all, if y'all have kids, go watch Lego Batman. If y'all leaving the kids at home, go watch Fifty Shades of Grey. And after you watch Fifty Shades of Grey, go watch John Wick Two. We, me and Gio, are gonna be there waiting for y'all. I'm not watching Fifty Shades. But if you don't like, it, you know what you can do. What? Catch me outside. How about that? What is this? <laughs> Catch me outside. How about that? Has been a trending topic on. Everything. This is this is girl called Danielle Brigotti, blah blah, whatever. Something with a B, and she's a thirteen year old that is a, a trouble teen mm-hmm. that went on a Dr. Phil show, and her catch me outside. How about that? Became something that uh, memes, and every I send you something. I send you the full video, mm-hmm. um, and this girl has become an internet sensation. But why? Because she said catch me outside. How about that? The, if you look at the if you look at the damn video, the way see look even Jose know about catching my side. How about that? It's stupid. 
And they made a they made a song of it. I ain't with it. She's in a coat. She took a song from Kodak Black and did a video of it with a little money. She's thirteen and she's getting all this money off of being stupid. Yeah, this was saying. Stupid. It's dumb. It's, it's stupid. It's dumb. It's, it's stupid. It's dumb. It's and this was brings us to our next topic, which is old school parenting uh-huh. to new school parenting. Now break it down. Break it down. We're old school. Yeah, I, I consider myself old school. You're old school. My son you're does old, something. I go to the chat and tell me, "I back up, boom, and slap so you, him in the so butt." You, Make sure it correct corrective action. You use that. Uh, I use that chancleta. The chancleta. The chancleta power. The chancleta power. But people, people, the new school. Yeah. Is the oh? Let's yeah. talk about it. Let's talk. What's wrong? How do you feel about that? Why do you feel like that? And it, it's very. Very different from the way we grew up. Now, did you yeah. get spanked when yeah. you were little? Yeah, I came out fine. Yeah, I came out fine too. Oh, I came, I came kind of toasted and shit. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, fine. Yeah, no, but of, no, I like a masochist. Look, looking back on it, like I don't, I don't think, I think I deserved it or whatever. You know, I, think it was, <laughs> I think it was, it was warranted. What I'm saying is like, you know, like I don't think I don't like resent my parents for that, you know. But it's different. It's a different time, and I know like that's not. I mean, I don't, I don't have kids yet, so I haven't, I haven't made that decision. And but. it's a great point that Daniel G made. Uh, uh, they're what? not Hispanic, and I, I think it's just, I don't think it's a Hispanic thing. I think old school parenting across the board. We all came out fine. I mean, um, we we I, got punished. Yeah. We we got our cell phones taken away. We had cell phones at that time. We got our video take, so games taken away. We got a TV so taken away. Got a and, if, and we got to take my beeper on top of that. My beeper, Yo, away. beeper, man, you're really <laughs> old. My <laughs> You're really old. And it's one of those things like yeah. you see the youth, and it's all around. It's across the board today. The youth thinks they're privileged. But you don't. Okay, but you don't think that's like always been the case? Because if you look at like let's say the generation before us. Yeah, they probably look at us like, oh, they got it good, and they don't never been disciplined, and they didn't get raised like I got raised. I got they got like we got hit with chancletas and belts. They got hit with like sticks and like you know I don't know. They had to walk to school. Like but it was a got, different time. But we got punished. That's the point. We got punished. These oh, new I, kids. I see what you say. So yeah, but these new true. kids don't get punished. Like, I feel like yeah, there's definitely like like the discipline is different. Now. Very the discipline, discipline is like, very different. The new, I, I mean, I, I don't want to say I, I bring that into my house because I do punish my kids. Yeah. Um, I don't beat the fuck out of them. Yeah, yeah. But I, I, I spank them to correct their, yeah, yeah. their, their wrong. Yeah. I punish them. I take stuff away. Like I, I used to take stuff away from me. And then, then we talk about it. Then we say, hey, this is wrong. Why was it wrong? But you discipline. But we discipline. Yeah, yeah. The, the discipline action is in the beginning. So. And yo, bro, don't you remember? You used to, I, I used to. I remember. I used to run around. Trying not to get hit by no belt, no chancletas. And when I got hit, I was like, oh, well, I, I deserve know, that. Man. I ran. It's like we're just in the rest. Like, I would get, like, like bad grades. <laughs> oh, man. Like, you know, you get bad oh, grades, man. Like, I would try to, like, intercept the, uh, the what do you call it, the progress report or whatever. They would send, like, you know, the, the uh, what do you call it? It was a progress report. 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 Like, every, report si- every six, yeah, every, yeah. every six um, weeks or whatever. And then, yeah, there was a report card. So I would try to, like, intercept it, like, in mail. Yeah. Like, in the mail, like. Uh, <laughs> you should see the mail, man. It'd be, it'd, be like, it'd be, like, on a Sunday, I'd be checking the mail, I'm like, oh. And then my dad be like, Joe, why you, why you make four trips to the mailbox? I'm like, oh, I'm just some, I'm waiting for the something. New, the new East Boys yeah. coming out. So you try, like, <laughs> try to, like, intercept it, you know, but then, man. And then sometimes, it, it's, either way, they'll get to it, they'll figure it out and find out. And then, and then my dad would go to the closet, oh. and then you hear you hear like a click link, click link, like you you can hear he's getting the belt. Yeah, and I'm like, oh shit, I got to start oh. looking. I look for like a skate plan. I'm like, I gotta go like, to the window. The bed. And then he's like, he's like, come here, come here. I'm like, ah! <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I remember one rap. time uh, my father was paying for private school. Yeah, and I protested the hell. I, I mean, I did a whole complete protest. I didn't do shit the whole year. Yeah, yeah. The final report card came out where the dean stand there. I can't even go back to the school. My father was so mad. So wait, my you got father kicked was, out of school? I got kicked out of school because of my bad grades. My father was so mad and so distraught that he got paid it. all his money yeah. the whole school year that when my final report card came back and said that I couldn't go back to that school, my father, I, I saw I saw the action. Yeah. He, he looked at me. I saw the red in his eyes. And he just looked at me like, why? Right, his little words, why? Why? And I was like, okay, now Did it's time. It? Let me get an exit plan. So I tried to run to a room. That did not happen. My father's soccer kicked my ass and I jumped in. He kicked you like, like he kicked me in the ass with his foot. With his foot in the oh, ass. Well, you got it. And well, I deserved it. You deserved I it, man. Deserved like, it. like, 
But How you gonna go to private school? They get kicked out. Of pri- usually, that's where they. It's s- a pro- it was a process. I was trying to fight the power. But usually, that, that's where they. That's where they, they send the trouble kids. They send the trouble kids to the private school. Because I, I went, went to, to private. I, I went, went to, to a boys school. I went to private. school. I, I protested because I wanted. To, I was in high school. I was already trying to like girls and stuff, and uh, um, and they put me in an all boys school. And I was like, I don't want that shit. Man. I want to. I want to see some girls trying to develop and stuff. Dang, he kicked you. That's crazy. He kicked me in the ass. And in the ass, uh, night, not literally kicked me in the ass. It was like this much away from my butt how, how old were you? So you were like, I was thirteen. So I was like fifteen. I was probably yeah. fifteen. It was, it was more that. It was freshman year. You got an ass kicking. <laughs> ass kicking, literally. bro. My guy. You know what? But they don't do that now. They don't right? do that now. So like, if you were to kick your child, or, or I mean. I don't know. What do you do? Like, like you throw no, something at them? They, or... they, they'll punish. They'll put them in a room. That's what I'm saying. Or like, like they'll talk know. about it. They'll send them to. A I don't therapist. know what the equivalent is. It's of like you know, now, you know, but the equivalent. I don't think there's an equivalent now. I think there's just uh, there's lack of it. Lack, lack of, of it. the discipline. So. Lack of it. And I see a whole people. bunch of teens walking around, like, like you know. You know what's funny? Like to me, it's like Trump. To me, is like an undisciplined child. <laughs> like, 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 you should use Trump as like the the the, uh, the result, the, the result, right? So that like, yo, you better act right. You're gonna end up like Trump because Trump is <laughs> reckless, yo. Trump looked like someone that got no home training, no, no discipline, nothing. no ass kicking, no ass whooping, nothing. And that's surprising because his parents were immigrants, right? I mean, I don't, I don't know, know. Man. and he's and, and he's an old dude. He's, he's from a, the old school. He's an old. School. But like I he, think, I he, think people with silver spoons now we got a real. He uh, out. he uh, yeah, maybe that's what it is. It's just yeah. like a different lifestyle, different, you know, whatever. But that you could use that, use that. You, you tell your kid you better act right. You're gonna end up like Trump. You know, like yeah. a, like a buffoon. <laughs> Lisa, right. Lisa, Lisa just said that it's not only the kids that act up. I act up, and she has to lay down. The so law. maybe she need to kick your ass. She need to kick my ass. Mm. Yeah. And she, she, ba- babe, yo, I'll take an ass kicking any day. Lisa, you should call, his, you should call his dad. His dad come back over. <laughs> Soccer goal, no. kicking ass. Funny thing is that when she met my uh, grandparents the first time, yeah. my great grandmother, God bless her soul, my great grandmother told them if he acts up, to slap him in the back of the head. She yeah. got official permission from not only one, well, that's family, what everyone saying. from the family. Yo, but we should that have is, that. We should have, we should have, we should have like an ass kicking like friend. Like anytime you act up, somebody come outside of head. Boom, he, he boom. Have you, you know ever got slapped in the back of your head by your dad? Yeah. yeah. Good yeah, that's not a good like. Sometimes like that. Like sometimes, a knockout. Sometimes like with a knuckle. Not a knockout, but like a nah, hit. Nah, but like uh, like yeah, like a like an act right hit. Now, what what was mm-hmm. the youngest were you? Like what, the run, the youngest you remember you got a hit. Yesterday. <laughs> the youngest, the youngest. Well, I don't know. Four? I, I don't know. I don't remember. L- I don't gets, remember because he hit me so hard. I probably forgot. I don't know. Lisa gets mad because I like, and I tap Isaac in the back of the head. Like, what you don't do that on top of you? And he he's like he's, he's dramatic. He'll fall. Well, he'll watch. Like, Yo, one day, one day, one day, one day your son, one day your son's gonna be tweeting something, he gonna be tweeting something stupid, and he'll be like, wait, my dad smacked me inside the head. You know no, what? I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't do that. that. Boom, you should have that. you should have an uh, like a like a, a, a head smacking person in your life. <laughs> if you don't have a head smacking person in your life, never realize to smack inside the head bad. and tell you, yo, that's you a bad that's a bad, that's a bad idea, you need that. Cause Trump need that. Trump need like seven of them people, like one for each day of the week. <laughs> anyway. Huh. So let's wrap yeah. it up, man. Oh, hold one second, I gotta, I gotta call out Jose and, and ask him what's BDSM. Oh, that's the that's the the um the Fifty Shades of Grey stuff. Oh, 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 oh BDSM oh. is like uh I don't know what it stands for, but it's like bondage and I don't know whatever. <laughs> yeah, you're you're traumatized from Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah, cause <laughs> I, I mean just, I'm traumatized from seeing the trailer of Fifty Shades of Grey. I'm like, oh, like, I don't want, I don't want to watch that. <laughs> well, you know, like, well, like, it's not that even close, like. Son. Think like, about it. To me, it's just like it's just unrealistic to me, and like, it's fictitious. Listen. And I understand it's a fantasy. It's fantasy, it's fantasy. But don't then they come home and then they want Gio, they think it's gonna me, be reality. Tell me up, Gio, tell me up. I was like, first of all, Choke I'm not, me. I'm not a millionaire, so I ain't got money like that, and we can't have sex in the yeah, game. You think, like, you think if since we're not millionaires, we can't choke our wives? No, what I'm saying is that he provides this world. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I haven't even seen the movie, so I'm like kind of generalizing, but because I don't give a I damn. I run from it. Because I don't give a damn. <laughs> she says I run from the whip. Hell yeah, I'm not being spanked. I do the spanking, woman. All right. <laughs> Before this goes down, Before like, this whole, goes, it's going to go down. We're talking about, like, what is she a kid? Now it's going like, to go down a whole different way. We're going, we're going down the S&M path. What well, you, we're trying to say, people, is stay in do, school. Do you want to wear a gag? And read. No. <laughs> Stop. Enough with that, man. I'm on 
don't watch John Wick. Who at John Wick? I need to wash the 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 the, the <laughs> this crap off my face of like it's Fifty Shades of whatever. Fifty Shades of Grey or darker. Or like what's what's the next movie gonna be? Three hundred shades of, of, of three hundred shades of a spank. Three hundred shades of of. Uh, Wait, will you let Valerie spank you? Of stupidness. <laughs> no, it's enough. All right, we're gonna wrap it up, you guys. Thank y'all so much for the support. Thank you for watching. And uh, tweet down below. Comment tweet, down below. Comment. Right. Sh- remember, we're a social media network. We yeah. should share, like, and subscribe. Share. Sharing is caring. Sharing gets us out there. And on top of that, always remember, your passion can become profit. Yeah, and also, uh, stay in school. Uh, and, and, don't be and stupid. think before you tweet. Think before you Facebook. And, or you don't want to end up like this guy. Or, if you have a problem, catch me outside. How about that? He looks ridiculous. Catch me outside. How about that? He look ridiculous.